well, hi guys, Kevin here, and we are on number 21 of our Kyle builds. This is crazy, like, the support this is getting, I appreciate every single one of you who are commenting. Um, it's crazy, and it's good to get back into a Forza series here. It's, I'm actually really enjoying it. So, last episode we made this a Chevrolet Chevelle SS. Um, very, very, very perfect car. Um, I pulled it out in a lobby last night. Um, I was doing tandems for quite literally like two hours. And once you get fully used to this car, there's no better car that you can pull out, so it's very good. Um, so I hope you guys do check that out. And in the comments below, if you could leave a comment with what car you want to see next episode, thumbs up one if you see um, one that you'd like the look of, and one of the most thumbs up will get chosen. So pretty simple. And last episode, the most thumbs up comment was by Aiden Walker. He said a twin turbo Nissan 370Z with TE37s. Um, TE37s are one of my favourite wheels, so I will happily do that. <laughs> um, so yeah, 370Z, I was waiting for this one to come up. Um, looks pretty crazy. Um, I own a 350Z, so the 370 is like a kind of an upgrade a little bit, but I don't know. Like, when the first, when the 370Z first came out, um, I never really liked the um, how it looked. I don't know if anyone else was the same, uh, but the way it looked, it just didn't... Uh, it just didn't like appeal to me. I don't know. It was like the rear uh, the front was okay But the rear was so weird, uh, but now I've got used to it And it's actually grown on me so much and I wouldn't mind only one to be honest, but they're a lot of money So no chance of that, um, but Into here. Uh, let's get into the auto show and let's try and buy this car. Um, we want a twin turbo this so it's gonna It's gonna run a bit of um, boost Dude, <laughs> and Hopefully it works out quite well. Um, Nissan 370Z, I think I did have one before and it did drift quite well to be fair. Um, so I think this will come off pretty well. Uh, so let's choose the 370Z. I don't know, I just didn't like the attractiveness of this car when it first came out. But it has it has really, really grown on me. You know, should we do like a race paint? I think that could look a little bit crazy. Uh, I don't really normally put paints on so... There was no requirement for me to do a certain paint, so let's just go ahead and do one. So we actually search for one? Let's do this. Let's go... Can't you do drift? I'm sure you can do drift here somewhere. There is a keyword that is drift. There we go. Let's search that. Um, see what comes up. I, I don't know. Nice paint. I think it works quite well on the 370, but we'll have to see in-game because it looks a lot different in-game. And that looks very nice. I like that. Uh, but I really like that as well. <laughs> so many paints I like. I like. So this has got like rocket bunny shit on it. Um, I don't think that looks very good to be honest. Uh, maybe in game it looks a lot better. But when you look at it from here. It's, it doesn't look too good. Um, but yeah I'm taking it a while to pick this paint. <laughs> um. Nothing that's really took my fancy apart from the first one. Okay, let's go all the way to, back to the start. And I'm sure there was one back here that I did like the look of. Uh, but obviously it's taken a while to load. <laughs> I scrolled so far that it just deleted everything. Okay, here we go. Uh, where was it? Can't even remember what it looked like now. That one. Okay, let's do that. And let's chuck that on. It looks pretty good. It looks a little bit different. I've never seen, really seen a paint with uh, like tears on it. Uh, so yeah, it looks a little bit different, and I like the white and red. It really complements itself quite well. And with like the rear lights, uh, it fits in well there as well because they're like the same shade of red. So it looks pretty good to be fair. I like the contrast. Um, so this uh, jump out of there. That was a long way, uh, a long time to uh, pick a paint. Not gonna lie. <laughs> okay, so into the garage. Um, Dude, this is where we put on the upgrades on. How okay, custom upgrades. Alright, engine swap, this stick with a stock engine, um, didn't ask to be changed, so drivetrain stays the same. And here, twin turbo, okay. So that pushes up to 434 horsepower, which is a bit crazy. <laughs> but it does weigh a lot, 1,500 kilos. Uh, that's one thing about like the, the Nissan 370 and the 350, they do weigh a lot. Um, people don't realise that, but they do weigh quite literally... 
a lot. Uh, but yeah, I don't think I'm going to wing it. Uh, trying to look for some attractive bumpers here. I prefer the stock here. I prefer the stock. It looks a lot better. Okay, and on the rear. Uh, side skirt, sorry. <laughs> on the rear. <laughs> okay, so the, the stock side skirts look a lot better as well. So, only change the front bumper there and make it look a little bit better. Okay, on to tyres. Um, okay, so we're running... Let's do street tyres. Nah, we can't do street. I think sport would be a little bit too much grip. So I'm going to leave it stock for now. But I will up the the tyre whips. Uh, so 265s there. And on the rear, 285s. Perfect. Perfect. Mm, okay. Now let's go get our TE37s. Um, there we go. The Volk 2E TE37. Tee hee! Okay. <laughs> That's chosen. That looks that looks very nice. Like even with before lowering this car, it looks very, very nice. Um let's up the uh, rim size, just one. Uh hopefully it'll fill the arches a little bit better when this car gets lowered. Uh so that's that. So I like the way that looks already. <laughs> Do I even have to upgrade anything else? Uh, but yeah, onto the drivetrain. Everything in the drivetrain will be braced. Uh, so go through and put this on by yourself. Uh, but yeah, this the, <laughs> this paint is... Oh shit, I put the wrong upgrade. Make sure you don't put the Storm Island um, transmission on. Because they've put it in and it's always on the end. So I'll, normally I just spam to the end and just upgrade. But they've put that in. So don't get caught out by that. I've been caught out by it so many times. Uh, so let's put the race differential on there. There we go. Okay, platform handling is where the good stuff happens. Uh, race brakes, see those calipers, they go well with the red wheels. That looks pretty sick to be fair. Um, and then with the, the lowering springs, that looks very sweet. I was going to say pretty sweet, but I don't even explain it. That's very sweet. That is gorgeous. Imagine owning, owning this car in real life. What? <laughs> what? That'd be insane. Not even going to lie. Okay, let's roll cage it. The roll cage isn't really on display, uh, so it doesn't matter either way. Um, race weight reduction pushes it down to 1,200 kilos, uh, which should be about... But fine! Oh, fine! Okay, so we are at 234 horsepower. Um, if we track on an air filter and exhaust, what does that push us to? 468. Uh, should we go to about 500? Or if you just race cams it, oh god, okay, may maybe not. Uh, let's do let's do sport cams, 535 horsepower. There we go, and let's just upgrade the flywheel to lose that extra four kil uh, seven kilograms of weight this time. Uh, on the last car, it was four kilograms, but yeah, there we go. That weight has been lost, and that is all the upgrades. Uh, really happy with the way this car is looking. If I could adjust the offset in the rear, it would really help. Because uh, it is a little bit tucked in those rear um, fenders, as you can probably see. Okay. Let's get drifting. Oh, it's raining. What a shock. Oh, God. This cable is wrapped around my arm. All right. <laughs> okay, let's head over to the mighty industrial area. Over here. Uh, we don't want any traffic while testing this car. We just want to, we just want to session it. Yeah, give a little bit of a session, mate. A little bit of a session. Uh, so yeah, thank you, Aiden Walker, for um, suggesting this car. Uh, twin turbo, which is going to be a little bit crazy. V6 sounds fucking amazing. VQ, the vehicle engine. Okay, so that felt alright doing that little drift there, but let's give it the proper run. I really like this section because it has a bit of everything. It has a lot of transitions. It has a very long corner. It has a pretty short corner. So it's a bit of everything. It's a very good place to, to test your cars out. So Okay, do I even have to tune this? <laughs> that is one thing with Forza Horizon. You, you don't have to tune cars, to be honest. It's so easy to make a drift car. You just put upgrades on, get the tyres spinning, and 
they're so stable already, it's crazy. Now compared to like Forza 5, etc, um, it's so much different. But obviously one's a simulation and one's kind of a simulation, so let's go. Let's jump into um, tune car. Uh, we can sort the suspension out. Um, tire pressure's felt completely fine. Let's just lower the front a tiny bit, get a little bit more feeling in my wheel. Um, gearing seems fine. Alignment. I don't really want to adjust it that much. You see how good that was. I don't. I don't think it really needs adjusting. <laughs> okay, let's make a slight adjustment. And let's up the anti-roll bars in the rear. Um, springs we go a tiny bit stiffer, um, but this is only the smallest adjustment ever because I like my cars quite stiff, and that's already pretty stiff to be fair. Ride height all the way to the bottom. Damping that's already stiff. That's probably why I like this car to be fair as stock because uh, it is pretty stiff already. Like certain cars that I can't drift um, straight out the box, they're normally quite soft cars. So they don't suit my style. So let's put that on 100 but 100. Um, Hopefully this rain disappears, uh, but yeah, same story every time. This rain is just like, every time. So yeah, I think this, I think those upgrades completely hit the nail on the head. I think we've got just the right amount of um, power in this. But I've also got the right amount of grip as well. Um, a lot of people like to upgrade their tyres and put more camber. But I'd rather have more tyre surface. I can get more stableness out of that. Um, obviously, having sport tyres, you might be a little bit quicker. Uh, but with these upgraded tyre whips and the fact that we've um, we got um, what should we call it? We got more tyre surface on the floor, like running less camber. You've got the speed there anyway. Um, so to be honest, I'm about the same as when people run like race tyres. It's about the same. Like a tandem with people, and they're running. They're running a, a lot um, higher tyres, and I can still keep up. So I always, I always like to run stock tyres. It just works for me. Uh, I don't know if it works for you guys, but in terms of drifting on this game, it's so much better. Maybe if it was fours or five, etc., I wouldn't run uh, stock tyres to be honest. Uh, but it works very well on Horizon 2. And yeah, this this doesn't seem to be bogging down in gear three, so I don't think I need to adjust the gearing at all, which is good. Um, it's very stable sideways, so I don't really need to adjust camber or tire pressures. Um, but it's all feeling good. Um, if I was to pull this out and like doing tandems, it'd probably perform just like any other car. It's got the speed. Look how fast that was through that corner. It's got the speed. It's got the. It's got the power. It's got the tire grip. It's all there. Um, it's got the stableness as well, which is very very nice. So yeah, I'm getting some very nice cars in my garage now. Thank you for suggesting all these cars. Um, one thing it is doing is just filling up my garage with absolutely amazing cars. I know, like, I'm getting into the garage and I don't know what car to pull out. Like, I can remember when I normally go on Forza, I always have that one car that I always go back to. But on this game, all my cars are absolutely spot on. So I don't know what is happening here. This cable is just trolling me. Okay. <laughs> Let's go. Let's give it one more run, but I don't think I'm going to adjust this anymore. Um, to be honest, you can just make a 370Z with about 550 horsepower uh, and the tyres that I used, and you'll be able to drift it absolutely spot on. So, to be honest, you can download this tune if you do want to, but in the terms of it, you can just download a free, um, buy a 370Z, put those upgrades on it, get about 550 horsepower, uh, run stock tyres, and it's the perfect car, really. The, the small adjustments, they have helped made it a little bit more stable, it's made it a little bit better on the wheel. Uh, I don't know how, how it will perform on the on the controller, but let me know how that goes. And yeah, this will definitely be a, a car I'll be using in the future. Very nice car. Okay, so I just want to go over here, because I think there was a car stuck. Oh no, he's driving away now. He was like stuck on the edge of that ramp. Okay. <laughs> um, but what I'm going to do now... Let's upload this tune onto the storefront for you guys to download. Uh, saves you putting on the upgrade, saves you tuning it yourself. Um, so you can just go onto the storefront, search for Gamertag, which is Kevin Toll, the same as my YouTube, and you can just quite literally download it. Uh, saves doing it all yourself, and it's a little bit quicker uh, for those lazy people like me. <laughs> so there we go. Uh, let's put it as drift and best for handling. There we go. Share.
so that is now up. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Uh, I'm sorry about the shortness of this, but this car was perfect right out of the box, so I don't see the point of adjusting the car that works well already. So, hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Uh, comment what car you want to see next video, and I'll see you guys next time.